A couple of months ago, I showed you this task system which I built inside my homepage in Obsidian. It's working very well, but I made some updates, some changes, and I would like to share them with you because they are making, although they are small changes, they are making my life much better. That video is very detailed, so I'm not gonna go into all the details here. If you haven't watched that video, you can find a link here and also in the description below that I, I explain how I built all this. So we are not talking about that today. I'm just talking about the changes. Uh, the first thing I did here is more a static change. Uh, as you remember, I already had this red dot here, this emoji for the overdue tasks. But I thought uh, more emojis would help me give this impression of things moving as a conveyor belt. For example, upcoming, I have this emoji with this arrow and this, uh, uh, I don't know, this little part below it. And this one is tomorrow, it, the arrow is shrinking, and then the calendar. This is so simple, but it completely changed the way, because I, I don't have to, read the word, I can look at the emojis and I know what it is. So upcoming, tomorrow, everything is right here is so fast. Okay, so again, aesthetic change, but really good one. Then you might remember that I had already had this purchases here, but it was a, let's call it a complicated formula. <laughs> so I, simplify it everything because I, I I'm constantly trying to make to make this changes to simplify things. So let's take a look at this here. Now things are much simpler and basically all we need are these two lines here. So I want not tasks that are not done and I want them from this uh, purchases here. The note if we open this here we have here purchases. So this is what it is. I I re I added this guys here to I I don't know to make that make it a little bit more pleasant to look. I don't need an edit button. I don't need a, a backlink. I don't need any anything like that. So if we click here now, it's just the task, and I don't need a backlink because the title is the backlink. I can click here and go to that note, and from here I can add new items, new whatever it is to buy. And since we are here, let's talk about this link. Because, well, uh, in my timeline system, I have all the actions inside this action uh, parent folder. The action containers are here. Everything that I'm doing is here. And it's pretty easy to just click here and go to purchases and add the item there. And that's what I usually do when I'm using uh, Obsidian on my computer. But as you know, when we are using uh, the mobile app, this sidebar here is kind of hidden. It's not there. You have to tap the top, it's lighted, and it, it, it's too many steps. And since this page always opens when I open Obsidian, it's kind of a shortcut. I can click here and go to this page and add a new item. Let's close all these guys here. So the reasoning here is pretty simple. Again, uh, when I open Obsidian, it will always open on this page, and I have both things here. If I am at the store, I can just check the links and purchase the items and mark them as completed. Or if I, I'm doing something else and I remember uh, I need to buy something, I can click here, go there, and add the, that item there. Which inspired me to create this other block here. It's exactly the same. So if we added this and take a look at the code, it's exactly the same, but as you can see here, it's a different note. So creator ideas, which is here, and it's the same logic when we compare it to the purchases. If I have an idea, I am on my phone, I can click here, go to the to the node and add that idea. If I want to check some ideas to produce a video, I can go to the home page and the ideas will be here. And by the way, this is just writing down anything that comes to my mind. It's not there's no linking, there is nothing. It's just a raw idea. Sometimes it's a very long sentence here. 
it's just an idea, then I can check this as complete. But there is one more item I added to this homepage here. By the way, if you are new here, this is my second account. I try to keep it as close as possible to my real one, but these are not my real tasks and these are not my real notes. Okay. As you might remember, let's click the edit here. I used to have down here my next trips. So let's look for trips here. And this is the structure I use. I have an itinerary node. I have some files and everything related to that trip inside uh, a folder for each trip. But remember that I used to add a link here, something like this. I would have, uh, I don't know, trips, something like this, next trips. And I would be able to click here and go to that node. But why not create this using tasks? Maybe something like this, right? And that's exactly what I did. But before I add a new block to this homepage here, let's go back to the itinerary note because there are some details that I have to show you. So this is how it used to be in the past. I, I, I still use this. I, I have a map. Uh, I have all the itinerary days here, information, hotel information, fly, everything is here, tickets, everything. Each day has whatever I'm planning to do that day. But when I'm planning the trip, I have this to-do list here, for example, buy train tickets, things that I have to do before the trip. So my idea here was to create this task at the top of the note, uh, which will be unchecked until the end of the trip, but it will have the date of the first day. The due date will be the first day of the trip. So if we go back to our, let's close this, close all this here and go back to our home page here. I'm going to add, I'm just going to paste it here because it's easier. So overdue. My idea was to, again, I have an emoji here. We have, we need a uh, task that are not done, but this time they are inside the trips folder. Again, hide everything that I don't need. So if we do this now and I'm preparing for the trip, I can see things that I still need to do before the trip. And again, I can click here and go to that note to have more context, more information about that. And I also have here the due date of the trip. So let's say I, I'm done. I, I bought all the tickets. I did everything that I needed, all, 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 all the tasks I, I had to do before, I had to complete before the trip. If we go back to home, I now have this uh, next trips and it's at the top of the list because when I'm on a trip, I'm constantly going back to the itinerary page. And again, because this sidebar here is not easily accessible when using the, the app, the mobile app, when I'm at my homepage on my phone, I can easily see the note, the itinerary note, and I can click here and go to that note and check information, the, some address, tickets, whatever it is, it will all be linked here. So the idea is to have to keep this task uncompleted until the end of the trip. Of course, <laughs> this will also be here because uh, it's going to be overdue the next day, the day after uh, the starting of the trip, this task will come to the top. Like I said in the first video, I'm not capable, technically capable of understanding everything this plugin can do, but I'm pretty sure there's a way to, uh, I don't know, not see tasks from, uh, I don't know, from a, a folder like this here. Maybe I'll do that in the future. For now, I'm okay. There's no problem in seeing it in both lists. That's fine. It's even, it, it will even give me more options to jump to that note during a trip. And I do that a lot. That's something I'm constantly doing. And that's why I always had the links there. But now doing something like this, it's easier because when I'm back home, all I have to do is click here and that's it. It's gone. 
there is no task anymore unless there is a, 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 another upcoming trip and it should be here. But let's say it there is no other trip. These two lines here, they are not getting in my way. At least it's okay. Uh, in my case, it's okay. I, I don't know what you think about this, but I, I think it's fine. I can still see all other tasks. I can see today. I can see overdue. I can see everything. Yes, I now have a new channel. It's uh, called Vlad Campbell's Labs, and it's about, let's call it physical, touchable projects. Uh, everything that is related to my maker passions, for example, here, this is something I did to the uh, pen loop on the Supernote hack. Uh, there are many videos about my Apple II project, and there are others coming because. I recorded so many steps along the way and I was not publishing it because I didn't want to publish them in this channel. And in fact, that's why I created this other channel for this more physical projects, maker projects, woodworking projects. So uh, here's another one about a pebble to watch that I'm trying to fix an old watch. So uh, I invite you to take a look at this. And if you enjoy what you see there, please subscribe. We are still at 559. And if you like uh, videos like this, it would mean a lot to me if you subscribe to the channel. That's it for this one. I hope it was helpful. If it was, I'd appreciate a thumbs up and please go check the other channel. Talk to you soon.